what's going on guys, we leave you here back with another video and welcome to yet another episode of Answers to the Meta. Today we're going to be talking about Morphing Jar 2 because a lot of people have forgotten about him. I think he is really really good against the meta. I may have gotten an idea from someone else who I'm, it was going to remain nameless but uh, needless to say it is a really useful tech card and I'm going to go over the reasons why that is right now. So basically in the game anymore, there don't really exist any monsters which, which reset the field or reset the conditions of the game in some way. Morphing Jar 2 was one of those cards back in the day alongside Morphing Jar and Cyber Jar. So his effect was shovel all monsters on the field into the deck and then each player reveals cards from the top of their deck until they reveal the same number of monsters they shovel into their main deck. Special summon all revealed level 4 or lower monsters in face down defense position and also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. So why is this guy useful? Well, simply put, he resets the conditions on the field and allows for you to perhaps change the outcome of the duel. If your opponent has swarmed the field and you have one monster on the field, you're set morphing jar number two and they have four or five monsters that they're just plowing into you with and they're pretty much going to win the duel that turn, you can flip morphing jar number two and then it returns them all to the extra deck or to the deck or wherever they came from. The important thing to note about synchro monsters and XYZ monsters in particular is that if they are returned to their respective extra decks, they do not count towards the monster count that you need to pick up from the top of your deck. So obviously Morphing Jar number 2 isn't suitable against every deck and I would definitely use it as a side deck option, particularly against decks that don't run level 4 or lower monsters such, such as Heretic Dragons and the new released Hazy Beasts or Hazy Flames or whatever the hell they're called, simply because they will return to the deck and count towards the monster count and you wouldn't be able to summon any of them. Heretic Dragons will be able to summon their Car Car Ds and I'm not sure about Hazy Beasts, they might run Flanville Fire Dogs. Another thing to note about Morphing Jar number 2 is that he effectively ends the battle phase because all of your opponent's monsters will have attacked and they will all come out in face down defense position. So they'll pretty much have to end their turn right there. They won't be able to change the battle positions of the monsters until their next turn. And if you know the deck well, such as if you're against a Dino Rabbit deck, a Mermail deck, or something like that, you will know the defense of their monsters. You'll know if you're able to attack over them with your own. In a way, it's like a Threatening Roar, a Compulsory Evacuation Device, and a Book of Clips, all rolled into one card. So if you manage to get a spec off at the right time, it can be absolutely devastating for your opponent. You can just swarm the field after that, attack over all of their face-down defense position monsters, and you pretty much win the duel after that because... A lot of their level 4 lower monsters are gone, and if they run a low level of those, then they probably won't draw into them again. Uh, the last thing worth noting is that it does affect you as well, and that if you run a deck with a lot of level 4 or lower monsters, it can both help you and hurt you. Help you in the sense that it can help you get a lot of monsters to the field quickly, uh, hurt you in the fact that they are in face and defense position, and depending on the position your opponent is in at the time, they might be able to protect one of their monsters from being flipped face down, they might be able to flip it up, they might be able to protect themselves until the next turn and then attack over your monsters, you just don't know what can happen. So just make sure you use it at the right time, it's kind of like a Gores, if you just kind of wait till everything's gone and then just set this guy, you'll probably be okay. So what do you guys think of him? I would probably run him in decks where you run a lot of level 4 or lower monsters yourself so that you would net advantage from the flip effect. Also against decks where they don't run a lot of level 4 or lower monsters or the monsters that they run are so crucial to their strategy that if they were destroyed they would pretty much be left with nothing. Uh, another thing to note is that the monsters, the other cards that you pick up that aren't monsters, level 4 or lower, are sent to the graveyard. So they couldn't end up losing a lot of their spells and traps, particularly if they have a low monster count in the deck as it is, such as against elemental heroes. Anyway guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll be back with more great content very soon. Peace out.